fast. She went out this morning 27.7. Showstrom's world record is out in a 26 flat. All of the habits that each of the swimmers have just Very wets nice. the suit nice. to make sure it stays in place. Underway as they race for a ticket to Tokyo. McKeon, as you'd expect, lane four gets out quickly. Throstles next to her in the white cap at the top of the pool. Olivia Collins swimming strongly as well. Great start for her out in lane one. Looking really smooth at the moment, the first 25 metres. You can see how flat her body is. You can also see how high she's sitting in the water. You can see her back right down to the base of her legs out of the water looking really comfortable here's the first 50 it's fast john it certainly is it's very quick 25 9 6 we're looking at a very good swim here if she can bring it home under world record pace uh 25 seconds at the 50 meter mark there is the world record line can she hold on she needs to maintain her stroke length and really grit down now she's in front of the world record throttles in front of the qualifying time can she hang on come on emma keep going that world record might just get her but she's gonna qualify she's gonna take her way to tokyo well done emma mckeon throttles second and Throssell has just missed the qualifying time, just missed it. Perkins in third, but a qualifying time for Emma McKeon. What a swim. And it is a new Australian record. She's gone under the 56 seconds for the very first time. Congratulations, Emma. Fantastic work. And this shows what the trials is about. The heartbreak of 57.11 from Throssell is 1-100th outside of the qualifying time. Well, hopefully, hopefully Throssell qualifies in the 200 as you take us through this mighty 100 fly, an Australian record, under the 56, a terrific swim. Her technique is just glorious to watch. She's really smooth. You don't see this undulating up and down butterfly technique. Stays very flat on the water, almost skimming across the water. Sees the wall, head down, touches with two hands, streamlined, squeezes the arms on... on uh, the head and then up and going doesn't take a breath she was really good with her breath control as well the stroke length was there it's only a matter of time till she chases down sarah showstrom's world record great discipline you could see she was fatigued at the end understandable a best time and australian record emma mckeon you've booked your seat to tokyo and the second fastest time in the world in the last year that's a great swim she's now ranked second in the world just behind uh, Zhang, the uh, Chinese swimmer. Uh, that is a fantastic way to start this meet, and of course we'll see it. What a way to kick off this meet, Australian record. Did you know you were feeling that good? Um, well, I've been training pretty well, and I felt pretty good this morning. Um, I haven't done a PB in that event since 2017, so it's been a while, and I feel like it. I feel like I was. It was time for me to do a good time. Well, you certainly have done that. The crowd is appreciating it. Let's talk about the fact that you're here to do a job and you've done that well under qualifying time. Is it a mixture of joy and relief? Um, I don't think it's relief, it's just joy. Like, I think it's been a long time coming for everyone and we're grateful to be able to put this meet on and then be going to the Olympics. You've got such a big program, you always have such a big program. Is it, what does it mean to do this with your first event on night one? Um, it's good to get it out of the way, I think, like qualifying, and now I think that's just the first job done, and then hopefully get the other events that I'm here for. Well, Emma McKeon, you have set this pool alight on night one. Congratulations. Thank you. Yes, Mum, a, a dolphin as well up there in the stand, Susie Woodhouse, now Susie McKeon, and let's have a look at that MLC hot lap. She almost brought it home in a world record.